Hey there, space fans. Today we're talking about a really cool mission to Mars. It involves a rover named Zhurong. Zhurong is from China. It landed on Mars in May 2021. Since then, this rover has been super busy. It's been driving around a place called Utopia Planitia. Utopia Planitia is a huge plain in the northern part of Mars. Scientists think this area might have once been an ocean. That's why Zhurong is there. It's looking for clues about water on Mars. And guess what? It found some. Zhurong is the first rover from China to explore another planet. It's about the size of a small car. This rover is solar powered. That means it gets its energy from the sun. Zhurong has special tools and cameras to study Mars. Hold on to your helmets, folks, because Zhurong's discoveries are out of this world. Remember how I said scientists think Mars used to have oceans? Well, Zhurong just found evidence that might prove it. The rover spotted signs of an ancient shoreline. Imagine that, a beach on Mars. This shoreline wasn't found by just snapping a picture, though. Zhurong used its high-tech radar to peer beneath the Martian surface. It found layers of rocks and sediments that look exactly like what you'd find on Earth where water once flowed. This discovery is a really big deal. It tells us that Mars might have been a much warmer and wetter place billions of years ago. Could there have been life there? It's a question that scientists are dying to answer. Why is finding an ancient shoreline on Mars such a big deal? Well, for starters, it tells us that Mars wasn't always the dry, dusty place it is today. Imagine a Mars with rivers, lakes, and even oceans. It's mind-blowing. But more importantly, where there's water, there could be life. At least that's what we've learned from studying our own planet. On Earth, water is essential for all forms of life, so if Mars had liquid water in the past, it's possible that life might have existed there too. Zhurong's discovery gives us even more reason to believe that Mars might hold secrets of past life. Maybe, just maybe, we'll find fossils of ancient Martian creatures one day. Now wouldn't that be something? Section 4. Zhurong Exploring Mars now let's talk more about how Zhurong does its thing on Mars. As I mentioned, it's solar-powered, which means it relies on the sun to keep going. But Mars is farther away from the sun than Earth, so Zhurong has to be smart about its energy use. It has special cameras that help it navigate the rocky terrain. It also has a weather station to measure things like temperature, wind speed, and air pressure. And get this, Zhurong can even study rocks using a laser. It vaporizes tiny bits of rock to figure out what they're made of. All of this data gets beamed back to Earth, where scientists like me eagerly analyze it. Zhurong is like our eyes and ears on Mars, helping us learn more about this fascinating planet. Section 5. Mars Through the Eyes of Many Missions Zhurong isn't the only one exploring Mars, you know. There have been tons of other missions to the Red Planet, each with its own unique goals and discoveries. The United States has sent several rovers to Mars like Curiosity and Perseverance. These rovers are bigger than Zhurong and carry even more advanced instruments. They've found evidence of past water as well, and they're even searching for signs of ancient microbial life. Then there are the orbiters, spacecraft that circle Mars and study it from above. These orbiters have given us incredible maps of the Martian surface and helped us understand its atmosphere. It's like having a whole fleet of robotic explorers working together to unravel the mysteries of Mars. Section 6, Fun Facts About the Red Planet Now let's take a little break from the science and talk about some fun facts about Mars. Did you know that Mars is named after the Roman god of war? That's because its reddish color reminded ancient astronomers of blood. And speaking of color, that red hue comes from iron oxide, which is basically rust. It's like the entire planet is covered in rust. How cool is that? Here's another one. Mars has the tallest mountain in our solar system. It's called Olympus Mons, and it's three times taller than Mount Everest. Can you imagine climbing that? Section 7, The Future of Mars Exploration Zhurong's discovery of an ancient shoreline is just the beginning. We're on the verge of a new era of Mars exploration, one that could eventually lead to humans setting foot on the red planet. Imagine astronauts walking on the surface of Mars, collecting rock samples, and maybe even finding evidence of past life with their own two hands. It sounds like science fiction, but it could become a reality in our lifetime. Zhurong's mission has paved the way for even more ambitious missions in the future. Who knows what other secrets Mars is hiding? One thing's for sure, the journey of discovery is far from over.